This transition I just made is very simple and random. Let's explore how I created this transition using gradient wipe and dust effects in Premiere Pro. You can see two clips on the timeline. The first one shows a pickup drifting on sand dunes and in the second clip two bikes are riding through the forest. Our task is to create a transition using these clips. You can use any transition preset but keep in mind that transition completely transforms your ordinary videos into engaging ones. In the first step we need to precisely define the both video clips. So first move the time indicator to find the frame where you can make a cut that blends well with the second footage. Next, navigate to the end of the second footage and trim off any extra portion that won't be used. Then drag the first footage to the second layer of the timeline and position the second footage at the end of the first footage. After all, experiment with the time indicator in the transition area and considering what changes can enhance the transition. In the first footage, the track is positioned in the center of the frame. In the second footage, the bike is on the right side of the frame. Let's adjust the bike's position. To do this, navigate to the effects tab and apply the horizontal flip effect to the second footage on the timeline. Now you see the bike's position has shifted to the left side of the frame on the program monitor. It's now ready for the next step of the transition. Simply place the second footage underneath the first footage following the transition duration to around 1 second. If you play the time indicator, you'll notice that uh, I'm trying to align both footage pieces for a match cut, but it's not perfectly matched yet. In the next step, we will apply another effect called gradient wipe effect to the first video footage. Now ensure the first footage is selected, then navigate to the effect control step and adjust the gradient wipe effect. Move the time indicator to the beginning of the transition, click the stopwatch icon next to the transition completion to set a keyframe. Next move the time indicator to the end of the transition area, increase the transition completion value to 100% to set another keyframe. This means our first keyframe value is 0% and our second keyframe value is 100%, creating a luma fade transition. Initially the dark areas of the first footage become transparent, revealing the second footage underneath. To change this, click on invert gradient. This makes the white areas transparent first, followed by the dark areas. You may notice that the edge of the transition area is too harsh and we can soften it. To do this, adjust the transition softness value to something like 50% or 100% depending on your transition requirements. For example, I set mine to 100%. Now we can see the result on the program monitor. Next, move the time indicator slowly to observe how the luma fade transition is working. To make the transition smoother, you can apply easing, set the first keyframe to ease out and the last keyframe to ease in. Now play the video to preview the transition. Okay, this is the transition right now. Let's enhance it by applying a dust effect. If you are looking for a free dust effect, you can find one on YouTube or other websites. Since I have AOJuice plugin, I'll use that. First, enable AOJuice plugin from the window menu. Look for the pack named Big Impact. Next, search for a dust or a smoke effect that will complement the transition. I have found one that seems suitable. Double click on it to apply it to the timeline. Now you'll see the effects on the timeline resembling dust or smoke. If you're interested in purchasing a lifetime license of AOJuice at a discounted rate, check out the video description. Now let's make precise cuts at the beginning and end of the effect to select the best part for the transition. Currently the effect only covers about one third of the frame so we need to increase its scale to fill the entire area. First select the effect on the timeline then navigate to the effect controls panel and increase its size. Click on motion which allows you to adjust the effects position in the program monitor. Resize and reposition it as needed. Next, go back to the effect controls and change the blend mode from normal to screen. Move the time indicator to preview how the transition looks. If desired, you can experiment with changing the blend mode to lighting. Next, focus on the beginning portion of the transition and make adjustments. Right click on edge of the effect layer and apply a cross dissolve transition. Adjust its length as needed. Repeat this process for the ending portion of the dust or smoke effect. Now move the time indicator slowly to observe the changes. To compare the transition, hit the I key on the keyboard to set an in point and the O key to set an out point, selecting the specific portion of the timeline. If loop playback is not enabled, click on plus icon to enable it. Then grab and drag this loop playback button to the bottom of the program monitor and click OK. Now hit the spacebar to play back the video and observe the transition continuously to see how it looks. Next you can compare the transition with and without the dust effect by hiding or unhiding the effect layer. Click on the eye icon on the effect layer to do this. I hope you now have a better understanding of how to create random transition for cinematic videos, whether they turn out good or bad. To clear the in and out points, right click on the timeline and select 
clear in and out. I hope you enjoyed this transition making tutorial and have some great ideas to perfect it. Let me know your thoughts on this transition in the comment section. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.